An update to an I-Team investigation into staycation pools and spas, a company that's left local customers out of tens of thousands of dollars for work they paid for that wasn't completed. Next week, the state licensing board could take action against the contractor. The contractor, Jordan Hidalgo, has more than 50 complaints now against him. And the Duval County Licensing Board already took action against him last night. News for Jack's consumer investigative reporter Tiffany Salome, live in downtown Jacksonville with these newest developments. Tiffany. The Construction Trades Qualifying Board met here last night where they heard three more stories from customers of staycation pools and spas, and they're all the same of abandoned pool jobs. The board ordered Jordan Hidalgo, the license holder of the company, to pay more than $280,000 in restitution. Now, these customers tell me they only wanted to build their dream pool and never expected to be in a situation like this one. Pool after pool, the News for Jack's I-Team has heard from more than a dozen customers of staycation pools and spas in the Jacksonville area who say they were left behind by the contracting license holder, Jordan Hidalgo, and president of the company, Doug Griffith. I don't feel that it's, um, it's right for him to continue doing business. Florida or, or any other state for that matter. Hidalgo was due before Duval County's Construction Trades Qualifying Board for a second time Tuesday, where he was again ordered to pay restitution to his customers for abandoned jobs. He was ordered to pay almost $84,000 to customer Randon Coffee and over $130,000 to Durand and Daltria Lee, who News for Jacks first talked to about the pool company in July. This is a buffet of frogs. Brianne and Ben Wolf are also owed restitution in the amount of $69,000 after they were left with a hole in their backyard last year. It's not right for you to just leave me hanging here with the $69,000 that I've already paid you, which is 95% of the pool cost. An attorney for Hidalgo was present at the hearing but declined to comment on the situation, according to a member of the board. Hidalgo's permitting privileges are suspended indefinitely in Duval County by the Code Enforcement and Building Inspection Division. State records show Hidalgo has state licenses for six different pool companies. He's now due before the state licensing board in Sarasota next Thursday for more than 50 cases against him. The board's agenda suggests they will take final action against him over these cases. Do I hope that we get to see some of the money and the refund and the restitution? Yes, I'm praying that we do because he needs to make it right on his end. Jordan Hidalgo declined to comment on this story, and his attorney has not returned my calls today. In the past, the president, Doug Griffith, told us that he intends to finish all pool jobs left behind in Jacksonville. We're reporting downtown live. I'm Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.